The Pacific Islands are renowned for their natural beauty. But sadly, waste is a serious problem in the region. The buildup of rubbish visually pollutes our beautiful surroundings. It can also pose a serious threat to the environment and to human health. A partnership between the European Union and the Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environment Programme, SPREP, promises to address some of the Pacific region's most pressing and dangerous waste issues. The Pacific Hazardous Waste Project, known as Pack Waste, is a four-year project funded by the European Union and implemented by SPREP to improve regional management of hazardous waste across the Pacific. Poor hazardous waste management is a major threat to sustainable development in Pacific Island countries and territories. It has negative impacts on the environment as well as on human health, water quality, fisheries, agriculture, tourism and quality of life in general. Pack Waste focuses on four priority waste areas – healthcare waste, e-waste, atoll solid waste management and asbestos. Asbestos is a naturally occurring rock fiber that can be harmful to humans. Asbestos is now banned from most modern products, but in the past it was commonly used in building materials, insulation, brake linings, roofing products and electrical and other consumer products. When products containing asbestos are damaged or wear down over time, small fibers are released and become airborne where they can be inhaled. Although these fibers are not immediately toxic, they can remain lodged in the lungs and can eventually cause serious lung disease, including asbestosis, lung and other cancers many years after inhalation. In 2014, Pack Waste commenced a process of identifying the location and quantities of asbestos in 13 countries across the Pacific region. John O'Grady, a regional asbestos expert, has been involved in the process of undertaking the Pack Waste asbestos surveys. One of the components of our work in this, in this first phase is to uh, deal with any emergencies that we discover. Uh, and we need to deal with them urgently. And when we came to Fiji, we discovered a serious problem at the Tamavua Tumi Hospital in Suva, where uh, there was a substantial amount of asbestos present, and, and the staff and the patients and workers at the hospital were being put at risk. After the asbestos risk was identified, Pack Waste worked immediately to arrange an emergency cleanup of the hospital. Fast action and rigorous safety measures were paramount to protect the health of emergency and hospital workers. The benefit of the cleanup is just that we are aware that uh, it's uh, something that is dangerous, uh, that needs special people to handle it, and uh, it has uh, some effect on us. And, uh, we have to take uh, precautions uh, because of it. I mean, just for us to know eh, that uh, uh, this, hap uh, this thing happens and uh, that we should be aware of it and uh, make sure that it doesn't, uh, people don't get involved with it in future. Within days, Pack Waste had successfully removed all the dangerous asbestos from the hospital. This ensured that the staff and patients at Tamavua Tumi Hospital had peace of mind. I'm uh, Nimaya Tule. I've been working at the hospital for over 30 years as a fitter. For years, we've been trying to get rid of the, this white stuff eh, in the boiler. And nobody knew how to get rid of the thing. We knew it was bad for health, so these people came up, they got their equipment and their body suits and all this safety equipment. They got rid of the thing and uh, we got a clean environment now, it's better to look at. With all the asbestos surveys complete and the emergency cleanup at the Tamavua Hospital a success, Pack Waste will now look at how best to remove other, less urgent instances of asbestos in Fiji and across the Pacific Islands. Through Pack Waste, the European Union and SPREP are making the Pacific Islands a safer and cleaner place for all. <laughs>